on, honey. I know that if I do not eat rampion, I will surely die. Pain, sigh. <sighs> Very well, my dear. If you want it, you will have it. Sir Henry climbed the wall into Dame Bothell's garden and began picking rampion. And that was when the witch appeared. <laughs> you! How dare you come into my garden and steal my rampion? I will turn you into a disgusting creature, the lowest form of life, a Trump star. <laughs> Uh, could you like, you know, please forgive me and stuff? <laughs> My wife craves rampion so badly. Uh, she's like gonna die and stuff if she doesn't have something to eat, so like, could you know, like, stop sucking and do it? <laughs> well, if you're willing to tell me the truth, I will let you take as much rampion as you want on one condition. You must Give me the child, which your wife will bring into the world. I shall care for it like its natural mother. I, 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 I can't do that. I'm sorry. It's very didactic and pedantic. I'm sorry. Then prepare to become a warthog, or worse. No! No! <laughs> I beg you not to do that, okay? I promise! The child will be yours. <laughs> The deal was made and the wife got her rampion. Months later, the couple finally did have a beautiful child on a Saturday night. <laughs> Here is the daughter. <laughs> Henry, my love. That was when the witch appeared. There's a daughter, you <laughs> She is mine, and I shall name her Rapunzel. Evil laugh. <laughs> uh, uh, it's like a monkey laugh. <laughs> the evil monkey laugh, I like that a lot. And with that, the child took the, hey, wait a minute. And with that, the witch took the child and departed. Oh, cries of woe. Uh. And in the years that followed, Rapunzel grew into a beautiful young woman. All day she would sing as she brushed her long golden hair. La, 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 la. So beautiful she was. Mm. Feared she would lose her Dame Gothel was. Mm. Yes. <laughs> servants! Where are my servants? Uh, yeah. You call for us, madam? Someday, a man shall happen by and take my beloved Rapunzel from me. Huh? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. No, that's the way of nature, uh, ma'am. Uh, no, I must prevent it. I want you and other servants to build a tower 20 feet high in the middle of the forest. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that sounds pretty easy, but, uh, like, seriously, how many doors would you like to have? <laughs> like, uh, one or, uh, no, no, maybe two, no, three? No doors! Oh, uh, no, no. No doors, okay. but one small window into a room at the top. Right. There. Right. I shall keep my child forever. <laughs> and so the tower was built and Rapunzel was placed inside. When Dame Gothel wished to visit her, the witch would station herself beneath it and call out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair so I may climb the golden stair. <laughs> Yes, mother. Oh, boy. Let me unfasten my braided tresses so that you may climb my hair, whatever you're into. Here they come. Hairball. 
<laughs> oh, my dear Rapunzel, you look so safe and lovely up here. Oh my god, thank you so much, Mother. <laughs> but like, I don't know, like, I'm sort of like thinking, like, maybe we get to meet, like, some other girls. Or, like, some boys. <laughs> Silence! I forbid it. But you will not be lonely. I shall visit you at least once a week. <laughs> You wish, mother. <laughs> and so it was for months and years. Until one day, the king's son was walking into the forest with his ballet, and he heard a charming song. Why are no? That's the wrong song. Sorry. <laughs> What a beautiful song, valet of mine. Arthur? <laughs> Who is that singing so lovely? I know not, my prince, but it would seem to be emanating from that tower over there. <laughs> well, so it is. I must see the face of one who possesses such a wonderful voice. How do I get entrance? 